Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101. We'll call it Thursday Night Football Second Quarter Update Show. Well, uh, it's two, three, and one teams battling it out tonight. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the uh, uh, Chicago Bears are battling it out tonight. At yeah, Soldier Fun Chicago, we'll talk about the game. And right now, the Bucks are up 13 to nothing with 7.03 left to go in the second quarter. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about, I'll give my uh, uh, pick of whether he's going to win, and I'll tell you who my brother in law took, and I'll give my thoughts about the Bears and Bucks both need to do. But first, uh, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. It will be a straight out sweetness. Uh, if you can tell me what bear wore number 34, I'll have the answer later on the podcast. Well, it's Thursday Night Football, Week 5, and we have two 3-1 teams battling it out tonight to go to 4-1. To to Tampa, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who are 3-1, and, and the Chicago Bears, who are also 3-1, are squaring off right now or fully underway at Soldier Field in Chicago, Illinois. And as I said, the Bucks are up 13 to nothing on uh, uh, the Chicago Bears under quarterback Tom Brady. And so, and uh, and uh, the Bucks are coming off a, 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 a comeback win over the L.A. Chargers last week. And this is the first time the Bucks have returned to the Windy City uh, to play the Bears since 2018. They were a completely different football team then. They got, uh, they got Emma. They got Anna, uh, Emma Hilliated, 41 to 10, 48 to 10, excuse me. Many would argue that it was that week four game in 2018 that set the wheels of motion to get the Bucks to where they are today. With uh, Bruce Aarons becoming their head coach the next year and uh, Todd uh, Bowles becoming their uh, defensive coordinator and Tom Brady ultimately becoming their quarterback two years later and currently right now. Dirk uh, Coder was was then the head coach Mike Smith was the defensive coordinator and Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, stepping in for J- Jameis Winston and Fitzpatrick who was now with the Miami Dolphins who was now their quarterback uh, who had been suspended for three games was was their quarterback and now he's a Dolphins quarterback uh, that was really a terrible game. Uh, Tight end Cam Brace said, Yeah, it was probably one of the worst losses I've had in my uh, my tenure I uh, here. I just remember how on on uh, how I'm how I'm point Bears qu- quarterback uh, Mitchell Trubisky was in that game. That was like my takeaway game for Takeaway from that game, excuse me, and he was incredible. Trubisky threw six touchdown passes, and it was where uh, what it was, and it was Wheel Root City all game long against the Bucks. And quarters coverage on defense, and. Uh, which allowed 354 yards and the most points given up by a Bucks defense since 2014. Obviously, the Bucks uh, mustered just uh, three first downs and controlled and converted, excuse me, on one third down under Fitzpatrick. It wasn't the best game f- for our Bucks for our Bucks defense. Offensively, we couldn't really get uh, anything going. I think it. Was kind of, uh, I think it was kind of. We were in that Fitz or Jameis back and forth. Who was gonna be the? Who was gonna be the quarterback? Who was gonna be the quarterback? Excuse me. Uh, Brace said, 
uh, team captain uh, Levante David uh, regarded as the heart and soul of the team and several others uh, sat with their heads down in the visiting locker room uh, staring at the ground in disbelief and Coda proclaimed based on on that game today we couldn't make enough changes we should fire every person that was on the field today starting with me that was horrific they held on to Smith for one more game and and that was a 34 to 29 loss at the Atlanta Falcons following the bye week Carter would join him at the end of the season following their second 5 and 11 season so I believe only three guys are still here. I think it was Carlton Davis, uh, th- Davis the third, uh, rookie his rookie year. Uh, Jordan Whitehead, rookie uh, uh, Whitehead's rookie year. Me and Will uh, Golston. It changed a lot, Davis said. I know we still kind of have that taste in our mouth. That w- that was one of those games where you just want to forget about it. But you can't forget it. General Manager Jason uh, Litch, uh, uh, Bird Aarons out of, uh, I mean, Lord Aarons out of retirement, excuse me. With Aarons uh, uh, came a complete defensive overhaul under Bulls. They went from a Soft 4-3 and three defense playing primarily zone coverage to a completely different uh, to a completely different philosophy on defense. Uh, a uh, one gap 3-4 blitz, heavy attack utilizing more man coverage. Uh, they parted ways with long time uh, three, te- three technique uh, Gerald McCoy and replaced him with uh, new uh, Nadeemu Kong Sa. David was moved from a weak side linebacker to an inside, and they have paired him with 2019 fifth overall draft pick and and budding star Devin White, who is frequently used in Bulls double and triple A gap blitzes. While David is now only used in Coverage and stopping the run, uh, but coming off their, coming off the edge at, edge at the line of scrimmage. Uh, the Bucks have a tough offense, and their defense is improving. With their win over the Chargers last week, the Bucks look to keep things rolling against the Bears tonight. Uh, meanwhile, the Bears are coming off an eight-point loss. To the Indianapolis Colts in week four. Uh, and this game will be a big challenge for the Bears tonight. And at this, uh, as this is the first time since 2018, the Bears will be playing the Bucks on their home field. And uh, Mitch Trubisky will not be quarterbacking. He's not quarterbacking tonight. It's Tom Brady versus Nick Foles, who... who uh, Beat him in the uh, previous Super Bowl that he was in. And I think that was Super Bowl 53, I believe. It was Super Bowl 53. And uh, I think it's going to be a good game tonight. Uh, uh, Nick Foles was not sharp against the Colts in his first start last week. A disappointment after Foles had... Coming cold and thrown three touchdown passes to rescue uh, the Bears against the Falcons in week three. But the Colts were a huge step up in class from a defensive standpoint. So Thursday night's game against the Buccaneers will be a good measurement for Foles. The Bucks are fourth overall in total defense, but 19th in pass defense. Uh, a good quarterback in uh, offense can score enough points to win. Uh, it remains to be seen 
if the Bears had either. Now with a short week, the Bears uh, had uh, virtually no uh, practice coming off their worst loss of the se coming off their worst game of the season. Excuse me. So they'll have to recover quickly against the three and one Buccaneers tonight. Uh, now I expect this game to be really tight, and I think it's going to be not a high-scoring game, but a low-scoring game. And I expect uh, uh, and I expect the Bucks offense to stop the uh, the Bears running game, and I expect Nick Foles to do that, uh, as as the Tom Brady to do that. Excuse me, and I expect uh, Nando's son and uh, the uh, uh, Bears defense to stop the. Uh, the Bucks running game and passing game as well. well. We'll talk more about this in just a moment. But right now... <coughs> it is time now to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. It will be, be straight out sweetness if you could tell me what beer wore number 34... War number 34. And if you said the late great Walter Payton, you are correct. Uh, the NFL's Man of the Year Award trophy is named after Walter Payton for his contributions off the field as, as much as on. Payton was a nine-time All-Pro and is considered one of the most... Complete running backs to ever play the game. He played from 1975 to 1987. And I will have the uh, another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be on uh, Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday Early Games uh, pregame show, so stay tuned for that. So, now getting back to tonight's game, as you know, the Bears are up 13 to nothing. I mean, the Bucks and excuse me, the Buccaneers are up uh, 13 to nothing in the second quarter, and I think it's probably down to th either th two or three minutes left to go till halftime. And uh, I really, th uh, I'm going to get my Thursday night pick of the week. I have taken the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers to to beat the uh, the uh, Chicago Bears. And also my brother, Eric Hoyle, has taken the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to beat the Bears tonight in Chicago. And we'll let you know, I'll let you know if, uh, if we both won that game once the game has concluded. And I'll have the other picks, all my other picks on Scott, for you on Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday early games pregame show. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football second quarter update show and expect the, both the Bears and the Bucks to have a really tight game tonight. I'll be back with the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football uh, post game show once the game has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.